I'd like to thank everyone for their patience for this afternoon. It's a very special afternoon for the Avon Lake Athletic Department as we have the opportunity to recognize five outstanding seniors from this year's class of 2014. I'd like to introduce our guests of honor. To my immediate left is Maddie McQuiston. She's further in both her education and athletic career at Ashland University, where she'll swim. To her left, Max Seipel, again further in his education at The Ohio State University, and he'll also be a preferred walk-on as a member of their track and field team. In the center, Ben Oxley, going to Northwestern to continue his football career and academics. To his left, Kyle Kuhar, attending Ohio University in Athens here in Ohio. He'll also continue his football career and academic schedule. And to the far left, uh, Colin Lucas is going to be a preferred walk-on at Michigan State University where he'll further both his education and football career. So we'll give a round of applause for these five outstanding <laughs> Of course, it's a special day uh, for these seniors and their families, and they know that they could not get to this point without all the support of their loved ones, families, friends, teammates, coaches, etc. And we have some special guests that would like to, uh, I guess, share some congratulations as well. So uh, if we could please have a round of applause for our superintendent, Mr. Bob Scott. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad I got a round of applause there. I think on Twitter this morning, <laughs> probably wasn't quite that level as we go forward. These are, these are the pleasant things that we get to do, and, and, and as I looked at everybody at the table today, uh, hard to believe that I'm, I am now in my eighth year here, so uh, I've seen them in a lot of different stages of their academic and athletic career, uh, and I hope they know how proud I am as a school we are, and I know their parents are and their friends are that they're at this place today, uh, and I think they also know that it's a, it's a new starting point. Um, you're, you're ending up things at, at Avon Lake High School. You'll be stepping out into a whole new environment, a whole new world. What I feel very confident about is that you're ready. Uh, you know, from unbelievable swimming people that, you know, as I see them drive off in the bus at 8 or 9 o'clock at night to, to go do their thing every day, uh, to the weight room, to the work they put in constantly. And that's just the athletic side. They're also tremendous students, and I know they'll do well. So I'm very proud of them. I'm confident that we're going to be watching them in the future. Uh, thank you, guys. Thanks for being a, a, a shoreman and a shore gal for all these years. Thank you, Bob. We have some coaches that would like to share some congratulations as well. Uh, we'd like to introduce our head football coach, Coach Larry Laird. Congratulations to all five of you, but congratulations to the parents that are in attendance, and uh, we're very proud of you. You know, we always put academics first, but you guys have taken the opportunity to be student athletes and take that to the next level, and congratulations. We're all very, very proud of you. I know the football staff is very proud of the four gentlemen that all participated, and very proud of you, too. Uh, actually, I coached you when you were little, so <laughs> long time ago. Uh, as Mr. Scott had stated, that we've seen you grow up. We've seen you become the young men uh, that we are very proud that you have become, very proud of the way you have uh, grown up. And, you know, life is a journey, and it's full of opportunities. And go on, take advantage of the opportunities that you have created for yourselves through hard work and dedication. Again, we will be watching. We are very proud, and good luck. Next up, it's my pleasure to introduce our co-head coach in swimming and diving, Mr. Joe Smith. I was going to have to prepare something here, but um, to second uh, Coach Laird here, can you guys hear me? <laughs> I'm really proud of these guys, and I really uh, am excited for Maddie here. You know, this is my uh, first year as a head coach, co-head coach of the swim team and diving team, and Maddie's actually going to where I swam in college, Ashton University, and um, much better facilities than when I went there. So uh, that should be a real neat thing for her to go through. And, and you guys, um, you know, 
big time uh, uh, programs. Really excited for you guys. Um, Max, I'm especially excited for you. Go about that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but it's been neat to have you guys, and, and, and I've had most of you guys in class, and, and it'll be really exciting to see how you guys do um, academically, socially, and um, we're really excited. Maddie, I'm really excited about you, and it's been a pleasure to be your coach. And, uh, this is a really neat thing, and I didn't know it was going to be this, um, <laughs> this special, but it really is, and this is a really neat thing we're doing here. So I'm really excited, and uh, thank you for having me up here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, again, it is a very special afternoon, and to continue uh, on with it, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, one of our track and field coaches, Mr. Rory Scarbelli. Well, uh, first of all, I want to uh, say what an honor it is to be part of this day. I mean, these student athletes have a great deal to be uh, excited about and, and proud about, and uh, on behalf of, again, on behalf of Avon Lake City Schools and uh, the coaches and the community. Um, congratulations, you guys have a lot to look forward to, so keep up the good work. Um, I had the, the privilege and honor of, of working with Max Seipel uh, down at Learwood when he was just a baby. Um, he was seventh and eighth grader, I was his throws coach, and I'll tell you honestly, from the first day this, this uh, young man walked into to, uh, practice, it was clear what a class act uh, he, he was at that point, point. Uh, and he hasn't changed. Uh, his athleticism speaks for itself. Uh, but his uh, humility and work ethic is, is just what blew me away about Max, and, and I'm so excited to see what he can do at the next level. Uh, and his uh, bash brother over there, Colin, uh, uh, can't say enough great things about Colin as well. Um, so Max, you, you set a goal for yourself all those years ago, and uh, it's uh, no surprise to, to any of your coaches and teachers uh, that, you, uh, you know, that, you, that you're getting what you work for. So keep it up. Congratulations, everybody. Before we move on to uh, the photo op and the uh, chance for people to sign the National Letter of Intents, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, give a plug out to uh, Dr. Walker, who's at a conference today, and the assistant principals at the high school, both Mr. Vassell and Mrs. Manser, their congratulations as well, too. Uh, so with no further delays, if we could get uh, some of the media that I see here, uh, maybe some parents or some friends who'd like to take pictures. Uh, the popular picture is the uh, student athletes actually put ink to paper uh, for the news uh, releases. So if we can kind of organize that, we'll get ready to sign and we'll move on to the next step. Thank you. Fine, what was that? Photo people? Just taking photos? Again, after this, we'll end up moving on to the parents and families behind the student athletes. But right now, we just want to get the students alone signing their national letters in the So if you want that photo, this is your shot. All right, on the count of three, you guys ready? Photo people ready? Just like we practiced. All right, ready? One more. Let me get your way. One, two, three. Got you. All right, at this time, if we could, we could have uh, mom, dad, grandparents, uh, family.